Hello, I'm Mike Wrenches with Mason County PUD3 Telecommunications Department. We're here today to look at vibratory plow trenching to the home. Sometimes you have a unique situation where the service pole, the aerial distribution line, stops short of the home itself. So in this instance here, what we're going to do is we're going to install a conduit with a vibratory plow from this service pole to the customer's home. When doing a project like this, it's common to have underground utilities already in place. One thing that has to be done is locates have to be performed. Calling 811 is the responsibility of the party digging, and what 811 will be responsible for in turn is to locate all existing facilities that are cable TV, telephone, or power. These are examples of the locates that were placed by the 811 service. You can tell here that power was indicated in red, PUD power. You can tell telecommunications, phone and TV are located in orange. The white is the construction path at which the project will take place, which we will install conduit today. Also, in addition to that, customers have private facilities like wells and septic systems. And it's important in situations like that to perform locates or contract that out independent of the 811 service. You can see this white power line that's feeding this well, as well as this pipe right here that, that provides water to the home. This is located by the customer themselves in order to ensure that it's not broken into during construction. As opposed to traditional methods of underground construction with an open trench, this is a vibratory plow unit here that utilizes a hydraulic mechanism to break through the ground with minimal impact. The conduit will feed through this chute here and be ejected, injected into the ground through this chute once it's placed down to about 18 inches below grade. This installation of this conduit here, the customer paid to have PUD install. PUD will then pull their fiber into this conduit to get to the house to provide services. This is just one other way other than an aerial application at which we can get fiber optics from our network to the home. Here's another example of a longer span of underground facilities that has to be built to accommodate a fiber service drop. This is approximately 380 feet to the stake down there with the yellow flag on top. With different terrain, sometimes it's necessary to pre-rip prior to installation via vibratory plow. This example here, we have a pre-rip that starts back in the wooded area and comes through down towards the demarcation point. And this, this is a pre-rip that will allow for easy ingress of the installation of conduit to ensure that it reaches maximum depth. Here we go, we are now plowing the micro conduit into the trench that was pre-ripped. You'll see that as we pan down this direction, the plow actually, the conduit traverses over top of the plow, it goes down the chute and into the ground 24 inches into the earth. You can see here that not only is the conduit installed, it's not damaged or deformed in any way. We dug this as a test spot along the route just to ensure that standards were met. Following installation, restoration is performed by compressing the track back down to its original form. You can tell that restoration will appear as though nothing has even taken place in this area. Once this is walked out and the initial compression is performed, we'll run a tractor tire from the vibratory plow over this line to ensure it's completely compacted. To it. Thank you for watching our demonstration on vibratory plow trenching to the home. If you have any further questions, please give us a call at 360-426-8255, extension 5882, which is the Telecommunications Department at PUD3.